I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Friday January the 21st brought to you in part by Vitalix an American family owned company that specializes in quality low moisture cooked molasses supplement tubs made from the best all natural ingredients available give your cattle energy to fight these cold temperatures get the blue tub go to vitalix.com firmness in the fats uh, we, we've seen the, the market in your fat cattle direct trade in your five area uh, peak its head higher a couple of different times this week uh, during the trading session. We saw it in the Southern Plains. The bulk of the trade last week in the Southern Plains was 136. Well, this week it's 137. There's been a spread in it from time to time, but it's still 137, and that's a plus, guys. We gained a buck there in the Southern Plains. Now, in the Northern Plains, it was mostly steady. At, uh, at 137 which they were trading at a slight premium to the Southern Plains but on uh, on Friday or on Thursday's trading session we saw it, it gap up a little bit more we saw some 139 trade and uh, and we hadn't seen that all week and and not necessarily a lot of it the weighted average in Iowa uh, was 137.43 but it's above 137 it's a little bit higher guys Packers don't want to advertise that. They want to continue uh, the narrative that they can't get enough workers in the plant to keep uh, the slaughter rates up. We've been running uh, over 115,000 every day this week. We got up to 117,000 one day. We're not that bad for the week. Uh, this Omicron uh, is starting to tail off a little bit. And if, uh, if people don't want to come to work, it's because they're lazy, not necessarily because they're sick. But we want to talk about the cattle on feed report that comes out on Friday on the last visit I had seen where they weren't going to have the estimates until next week and and uh, got confused there that we might not be having the cattle on feed report till next week but we are having it today Friday at 2 o'clock central uh, like normal and uh, we saw some estimates come out on what your uh, average of the analyst guess are uh, just like I thought, the placements are, are guessed to be higher than a year ago. A lot of that has to do with, with how dry it's been, guys. Uh, weren't able to keep the wheat cattle out there any time at all. Those, those cattle had to come off of there. They had to go somewhere. And a lot of them went into feedlots that have more than a 1,000 head capacity. And so they're going to get uh, tallied up as, as uh, placements on feed. But uh, we're still down on our numbers. Uh, we're sure down on our inventory of cows. Uh, we've, we've slaughtered so many heifers uh, the last year or two. Uh, we've put a lot of those heifers back on feed, and we have been harvesting these beef cows like crazy. Now, our, our slaughter hasn't been that great on steer and heifer slaughter, but it's been made back up with the number of beef cows that we've been slaughtering, uh, especially in the northern plains where they got dry and just having huge runs all summer long all fall and continuing here through the winter but don't be too concerned or worried about the the heavier placement figure and it'll be interesting to see whenever that report comes out if it indeed is higher uh, than a year ago on the placements or not but I'm going to give you the uh, the estimates of the cattle on feed report that will come out at two o'clock central here today on Friday but your on feed inventories for January the first come in at 99.7 and uh, so you know that's that's not more than than a year ago but placements did indeed 101.8 now that there's a big range in there like there always is on the placements could come in below that depending on where those cattle that came in from the dry country uh, went to but 101.8 uh, that could be a, a market mover depending on where it comes in and and uh, how far it is from that level. Marketing setting pretty good. We've been struggling on our marketings uh, coming through the the last year or so with uh, uh, with all the the COVID has brought along. But 100.9, so that's bigger than a year ago on our marketings of uh, of finished cattle there. So uh, keep your eye on that cattle on feed report uh, coming from uh, National Ag Statistics Service at two o'clock central. Let's talk about your board on Thursday. February live cattle futures down 22 cents at 138.32. That's going to be higher than what our weighted average is for this week. So uh, we're in there pretty tight though. 
April live cattle futures down 17 cents at 143.17. Uh, you go on your back months of your live cattle futures down 27 to up 27, but not doing a whole lot. And, and they're struggling for direction, uh, much like we think they are. January feeder, cat <coughs> feeder cattle down 22 cents at 161.17. That is very close to what your index values are at. So uh, we're getting uh, really tight in there and we're in late January, that's a spot month. So it's just gonna uh, figure up with whatever your index is there at the end of the month. But going out front, March feeder cattle down 67 cents at 164.95, but that's a pretty nice premium to what your January is. Your back months were mixed from down 52 cents to up as much as 75 cents and all your gainers we're on the farthest out months, uh, publicly traded months there on uh, feeder cow futures. But your grains uh, continued to be somewhat volatile. Uh, your corn wasn't at all. It was only up a half a cent, settling at 611 a bushel. But beans were up 34 and a half, now up to 14.25 and three quarters cent a bushel. Wow. Kansas City, a uh, hard red winter wheat. Uh, jostled a little bit, but not too bad. March contract there down three and a half at seven ninety six and a half. Talk about that fat cattle trade that I that I referenced there early in the report. Iowa had thirty six hundred confirmed sales on Thursday. We still haven't sold very many cattle at all, negotiated, and we may not sell any more on Friday, especially now that people have seen. Uh, that there's uh, higher prices out there and then the packers are not going to want to give them and they haven't had their slaughter up as much as they thought so we're probably going to have our third week in a row of extremely light negotiated trade but 3,600 had confirmed on Thursday just over 9,000 in, in Iowa we normally have somewhere around 20 in Iowa but live sales in Iowa on Thursday 136 up to 139 and I've told you that 139 was nowhere available earlier in the week. Dress sales have all settled in at right at 218, which would be steady with last week. Nebraska, about 1,800 had confirmed on Thursday, uh, just over 21,000 for the week. Most weeks uh, on a normal uh, robust trade, we would get 30,000 head in Nebraska. No live sales in Nebraska. Huh, it's funny how that works whenever uh, the few live sales they had in Iowa were working higher. Nebraska guys couldn't get anything sold live, but they sold uh, their cattle dressed at 218, and all of them were at 218. Kansas, 1,600 head on Thursday, just under 12,000 head, which is light in Kansas uh, for the week. Live sales continue at 137, and a few dress sales in northern Kansas at 218. Texas didn't have any confirmed sales uh, that were reported in for Thursday, and only 3,400 head for uh, for the week. Now that 75% of a robust trade that NCBA was touting, but has has been triggered out now. Uh, it was close to between nine and 10,000 head for robust trade, and only 3,400 head. You think we might need a mandate for a minimum level of negotiated trade? I think so. Box beef cutout values higher again and they've just been consistently higher and not little bits but higher every day for the last two weeks choice cuts up 138 at 292.98 we're going to break 300 dollars here which we didn't see until uh, covid first started there a couple of years ago but we're getting up there to those levels again select up 175 at 282.18 your slaughter and i mentioned earlier on Thursday, uh, estimated at 116,000. That's not terrible. For the week up through Thursday, 461,000. That's 6,000 more than last week, 12,000 less than the same week a year ago. Your actual slaughter data came in as it always does on Thursday. For the week ending January the 8th, average dress steer carcass weight 928 pounds. That's big. It's the biggest we've ever seen coming into January. Uh, starting January there, but it was the same as it was in the previous report, but 16 pounds heavier than the same report a year ago. Uh, that's quite. That's pretty big. Talk about what else is going on. Uh, don't forget to check out today here on Friday, Ludwigson uh, Red Angus Stock Farms are having a timed sale 
Now it's an online only sale, a complete embryo dispersal, including also uh, some rare semen uh, that, that normally you don't see at auction. But you can get on that time sale, place your bid, there's no auctioneer. <clears throat> it's been open for a few days here, but those lots will close at 9 p.m. on Friday. So go on to Ludwigson Stock Farm Sales and, and get some of that uh, good embryo and, and semen uh, lots that are offered on there. Talk about your feeder cattle market. Real-time index on DV auction late in the day on Thursday. Sit at 159.98, right at 160. And that's based on an 800-pound steer up through the middle 12 states there. But that 159.98 was up 42 cents from uh, the end of trading on Wednesday there. Uh, talk about some of your big sales. Going to have a big sale at uh, Nevada Livestock Marketing on Friday. And uh, if we don't get done, we're going to be selling those on Saturday too. You can go on to dvauction.com, view and bid that sale. It'll be some hard desert cattle on that sale. Farmers and Ranchers Livestock on Thursday uh, in Salina, Kansas had 4,400 head there. And uh, it was impossible to, to, to get a trend from the federal state market report there because uh, those uh, reporters there in Kansas don't have uh, much, if any, training and, and calling a different uh, weight uh, trend, price trend on every pound, uh, every 100 pound weight group going this way and that way. And it just, you know, I checked out the online uh, market report from Cattle Market Central there. And basically, yearlings run even from $2 lower to 2 bucks higher. That's not a lot different than we've seen in other sales this week. Your middleweight calves were steady to $4 lower because there are just so many of them everywhere on offer. Peewee calves, 4 to $11 higher. And uh, the extreme highs on that gain there were on the heifer calves. But that's similar to what we've seen in other sales around this week. How about uh, winter livestock in Pratt, Kansas? 2700 head for their sale on Thursday. Uh, mostly steady to $3 higher except for the peewee calves like 450 pounds and down six to eight bucks higher. Uh, look at a stick out sale there at Pratt. 100 head or two loads of 900 pound steers bring $165. That's a big time quote uh, especially down in, in central south, southern Kansas right there. How about some other places around Mitchell Livestock in Mitchell, South Dakota, 4,700 head there. Uh, their market was unevenly steady up in Mitchell. They feature and, and often have the high quotes on warmed up heavy feeders. Uh, they did again on Thursday, 53 head, 1,034 pound big feed and steers at 156.50. Not too long before they're going to reach the knife guys at a market that, uh, that's well down into 130s. They got some catching up to do. How about Ogallala Livestock Auction? Uh, still selling stock show specials there. 7,700 head in Ogallala. Market was wild. Uh, cattle mostly still selling from steady to $7 higher. Uh, some of the, the lighter weight heifers were quite a bit lower, but just missing an order there. But uh, a lot of NHTC cattle, their NHTC approved barn there at Ogallala, selling a lot of those, including 183 head, 548 pound steers at $220 a hundred. Wow. But the best quote that I saw anywhere for where it's at, what they're selling and, and everything, Take that into account on these top quotes, but your National Beef Wire top quote for the day come out of Coffeeville Livestock, Coffeeville, Kansas. My buddy Brian Little sale there, 60 head, 657 pound steers, bring 178.60. And that's your feeder flash for Friday.